Hey, what's up guys? Your average war game is back with another video of World of Warships. And today I'm going to be featuring tier 9 premium cruiser, or I would call it heavy cruiser, the Soviet Stalingrad. Now Stalingrad is available for steel and if I'm not wrong it's 28,000 steel right now and uh, the question that I'm going to answer that whether it is actually worth it to buy right now or not since there are a lot of other ships that you can buy for steel and is it really got power crept or maybe is it still worth it just like it used to so I'm going to explain this answer so before talking about the Stalingrad more and its uh, gameplay I will definitely recommend you to subscribe to my channel if you are new and uh, my subscript like sorry your subscription will help me a lot so if you do that it would be pretty nice and let's talk about the Stalingrad itself so Stalingrad obviously the infamous guns it still has nine of them and they do pretty decent damage like 9660 uh, I mean it does have nerfed radar now like it used to be a lot better like 36 seconds of radar but it is still okay I mean it's 12 kilometer radar and 26.4 seconds isn't going to hurt that much but still you have a bit less counter against destroyers because of less duration of radar itself but however Stalingrad still have these amazing guns and uh, hopefully I might be able to feature that uh, I mean you can really punish broadside especially when this is like a very heavy cruiser fast game and I mean you can put yourself in kiting position and uh, you can also see that the dispersion of the Stalingrad still remains to be the most consistent like really consistent unless you just don't do that right I mean I just didn't aim well otherwise the guns will do just fine and they have a decent reload time of 21 seconds so it's not going to be that of an issue as you can see this is like dispersion of Stalingrad just uh, performs well and here I shot the NC and well sh the shells actually land short unfortunately this is a bug that's been going on for a while and it just absolutely sucks but well there's nothing that you can do and I will shoot this NC and hopefully I might get a decent salvo hopefully let's see uh, but this time he's going behind the island so only get a couple of over penetrations which kind of sucks but well there's exactly that uh, there's an Napoli that I might try to shoot and see if I can get some Citadel hits but let's see if I can do that I shot the guns dispersion looks good and see like by the way it does have really good uh, shell travel time and you can see I got double Citadel so Napoli have taken actually a massive damage from me so these guns does hurt if someone broadside like this otherwise uh, Stalingrad does suffer from you know fire duration like uh, the fires can be a big of a problem and if you are not uh, you know trying to play it uh, you know passively and you get bow in I think Stalingrad does suffer a lot like 60 seconds of fire still does hurt and well in this case I'm really hesitant to push because Stalingrad does also have a very vulnerable citadel so with all these factors that it has well Stalingrad still in my opinion very very good very strong ship at least for randoms but uh, here in this case I'm trying to push up and do some damage there's a Des Moines that actually can be a rough to deal with to be fair but uh, other than that I think there's not going to be any other issue like uh, the DPM of Des Moines can be a bit of a problem and I mean Hindenburg is kind of blocking my way uh, give me a bit of a room please so hopefully they will <laughs> this guy will be able to do it the Shemaka is sending torpedoes to this North Carolina and I think he disappeared so I will showcase you the a HE now you can see that the, like the dispersion of the guns is very sweet and consistent I mean if you hit on the like superstructure you can get some decent salvos regardless and I think the NC is definitely in a bit of a trouble actually so hopefully I will get a fire and let's see if I can do that I shot the guns dispersion is pretty spicy and hopefully we'll be able to get a fire and there's an eager that is reversing apparently didn't get a fire unfortunately now just wait for 10 seconds and hopefully I shoot the eager before he goes back but yeah, Shimakaze got him torpedoes which is nice okay come on can I shoot him please I shot the guns before he get disengaged but I don't know if the shells are gonna hit him enough I don't know let's see a couple of uh, penetrations which is fine there's Napoli which I'm sure that I can't do much right now uh, I mean I can shoot him if he comes out 
Oh, Gudaliu is there. He's out there. And Gudaliu is actually a problem if I just uh, didn't turn out here. I know I will get burned down to death by this Gudaliu, so I will just do something here. And yeah, he's going to get a good bomb hits on me. Unfortunately, that's going to be the case. Okay, 6,000 damage ain't gonna hurt that much, but Napoli is turning in, apparently. Shot the guns. Napoli seems to be turning in like this, the way that I expected him to do. So let's see if I can get some good salvo on him. Okay, only one. Okay, one penetration, unfortunately. I will put myself in kiting position since there is a good Liu that I don't want to be messing up with. And I think that Napoli is going to broadside again. Okay, and the dispersion looks absolutely crazy good. Like, look at that. Oh, good Liu is again dropping me. No, not good at all. Yeah, 24k damage, and yeah, Gudali get a good strike on me, which is gonna be really bad. I shot the guns again, hopefully to kill the Napoli. He turning out. I just aimed it just enough that I think he will get, yeah, still get a decent damage, and he's too low. Okay, that is so low HP. I shot the guns. Maybe Hindenburg will kill him. Maybe. I might kill him, hopefully Hindenburg White will do it. No, he didn't. So I think he survived, really? Oh, one ricochet. Oh, no, <laughs> he survived. Uh, unfortunate. But well, at least we can try to push back a bit. And I don't know where the good Liu is. Maybe I can try to do something with the good Liu. Napoli smoked up apparently, and I can heal back a bit of my HP. And see if I can take down these cruisers again, because Stalingrad is still on a broadside, a very nasty cruiser killer. I shot the guns. I don't know if they are going to lob over this island. If they do, they do. Well, they don't. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. There is a good and Luke hiding away. I can see that. Why? Hopefully, Des Moines will push up our Des Moines and try to capture this area. Hopefully, because I'm in a bit of a tight spot here. I have uh, heal on cooldown. I'm not sure where the good Liu is, but I'm gonna stay here for now and see if I can actually wait for the broadside. And there's a Des Moines that is broadsiding. Can I get the? Oh, he's moving forward. Ah, I would have shot him here, and maybe could have gotten a really nasty salvo, but it didn't happen. And we will push again and try to shoot this uh, good Liu. Hopefully, oh come on, if he gets spots, so. Let's push up it slightly like that. Bismarck is in big, big trouble, and he's super low, so I fear that the uh, Bismarck might die. Let's see if the if the Gudelu might uh, comes up out there and spot himself. The Demon is actually kiting away, which I can see. There's a there's a Gudelu, and you see the dispersion. It looks absolutely spicy. I think I just aim slightly bad, yeah, just slightly too bad, and I think this is not good. Des Moines is trying to be in a kiting position. I shot the guns again. Dispersion, you can see Stalingrad dispersion is amazing. Like, really, really good. I got, again, I just messed up with my aim. And that's not good. And there's a eager that I can shoot. And Des Moines, I, I think, as well. Uh, what that Des Moines is trying? He's trying to do what? I shot the Des Moines because I think Des Moines is going to broadside. He's trying to speed juke, apparently. I got a Citadel regardless, which is good. So hopefully I will kill this guy. Or someone will kill him, which is nice. And that's pretty good to see. Okay, the Gudun Liu is also behind the island, apparently. Let's see if I can kill this Napoli. Is he going to broadside? He seems to be broadsiding now. Shoot the guns, but now he's not doing this again he's turning out again i see i see that one penetration nice we will keep pushing see if i can do something about this good liu and pop the defensive a for obvious reasons good liu is in the middle of nowhere oh he's turned like he comes in like this was not expecting that to happen he shoot the hindenburg instead of me which is actually a bad idea because I have more vulnerable broadside at close ranges, but well, that's his option and chance. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if I can drop Salvo on this Aegir. 
You can see that the dispersion of Stalingrad is still really, really good. You can just aim and you can get pinpoint sometimes accuracy, which I really like about Stalingrad. I see if I can actually get towards the Napoli, because the game is actually kind of over, if I am not wrong. And this Aegir might go outside a bit. No, he's not. He's not interested in doing anything like that for some reason, apparently. But well, I will just keep pushing and see if I can do some more damage to this guy. Okay, two penetrations, nice. Even in angle, you can get these penetration because of its specialized AP. It, it could be pretty nice, you know, it works just fine. And I will sh shoot this guy again, because I have nothing to shoot at, to be honest. I don't know where the Napoli is, maybe he's just uh, disengaging, doing nothing or something. And shot the guns to two penetrations again, nice. There's a Napoli. I shoot the Aegir again. I think I just miss aim. If he's slightly broadside there, which he's not, I think I'm still going to get some damage. Yeah, I think I will still going to get some damage, which is nice. Yep, that's pretty good. 300 HP and he's burned down to death. He smoked up, understandable. But we will keep pushing in. Now the game seems to be pretty much over. And you can see the stalling is pretty good when you, when you are doing the right push. If you don't do the right push, well, you're going to get burned down to that very quickly. I mean, that's uh, basically the Stalingrad's life. The guns are really accurate and they can hurt really nicely. And I think the Chamakaze probably spot the Napoli out there and that's pretty good. I shoot the guns front and back and hopefully this Napoli will be dead by my salvo. Yeah, Citadel, nice. And yeah, Stalingrad does a really good job in hitting these cruisers with a Citadel. And that's why I really like the Stalingrad. It's a short game. I mean, it's not like the very action-packed sort of game that I did on Stalingrad. But I hope you can understand that it is still a pretty good ship, in my opinion. And worthy to be played. So, yeah. I will definitely going to conclude this video. And uh, if you do like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I really, and I mean, appreciate that if you do subscribe and I make daily World of Warship videos. So, thank you guys for watching. And I will catch you into the next one. Peace out.